Moving on with the program, we will now be talking about an actor, and we will trace, I guess, his success story. We're talking about actor Lee Jun Gi. He started off in the countryside as an ordinary boy, but now he is a huge celebrity. This is Star Chronicle. Star Chronicle is a segment that gives you a chronological view of top-notch Korean stars' careers. Today's guest is Korean Wave star and the original Flower Boy icon, Lee Jun Gi. Lee Jun Gi is showing off his strong presence in productions of all genres and has also been maintaining his top star status for such a long time. Let's trace his footsteps in the Korean acting industry and check out how he became what he is today, right now. Lee Jun Gi first broke into the entertainment industry in 2004. He came all the way from Busan to Seoul with the hope of becoming an actor after graduating from high school. However, despite his burning ambitions and passion for acting, he felt countless auditions and faced a lot of hardships for several years. Then, after his persistent attempts, Lee Jun Gi could make his acting debut in 2004 with the movie The Hotel Venus. In this movie, Lee Jun Gi acted as a boy who dreams of becoming a killer and caught the industry's attention with his strong presence despite his short screen time. He also made a cameo appearance in the popular sitcom Nonstop Season 4 as the guy who goes on a blind date with Han Ye Su. After the Hotel Venus and Nonstop Season 4, Lee Jun Gi starred in the movie Flying Boys and received much praise for his impressive portrayal of a high school ballerino. Then in 2005, Lee Jun Gi grabbed his once in a lifetime opportunity. It was the movie King and the Clown where he acted as clown Gong Gil, who plays the female role in his entertainment troupe. Thanks to Lee Jun Gi's passionate acting, King and the Clown attracted 12.3 million viewers and rewrote the history of Korean cinema. That's not all. Lee Jun Gi also fueled the metrosexual trend in Korea with this movie. This trend then got intensified with one beverage commercial that he filmed. <laughs> With his beautiful features and the catchy commercial song, Lee Jun Gi reached the peak of his popularity and also secured his spot in the entertainment industry. Then in 2008, Lee Jun Gi opened a new chapter in his career with the fusion periodic drama Il Jime. 
He showed intense action acting as well as fluttery romance acting with actress Han Hyo Ju and became the new king of fusion periodic productions. Then in 2012, Lee Jung Gi took part in another fusion periodic drama called Arang and the Magistrate and created amazing chemistry with actress Shin Mina. This year, Lee Jung Gi added another fusion periodic drama to his filmography with Gunman and Joe Sun, which also starred Nam Sang Mi, Yuo Sung, and Jun Hae Ben, portraying the role of a charismatic man who ends up becoming a hero for people. Lee Jun Gi portrayed all these characters and their emotions to perfection and truly lived up to his reputation as the king of fusion periodic productions. Eleven years ago, Lee Jun Gi was just a young, bold guy who happily took on various challenges to make his dream come true. As much as he suffered and yearned for acting, he cherishes each and every moment as an actor. He truly moves us with his professionalism and undying passion for acting. And the Korean acting industry definitely has a bright future ahead of it, thanks to this passionate, genuine actor, Lee Jun Gi. Welcome back everyone. I'm sure some of you, just like me, were very moved by Lee Jun Gi's undying passion to achieve his dream. Let's wish him the best of luck and I'm sure he will continue to touch us with his excellent acting.